and to get ready for possible Russian cyber attacks. Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams opened a first of its kind command center in Brooklyn to oversee cybersecurity across the state. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer says it is especially important after both the MTA and the city law department were hacked just last year. We have a subway system that moves millions of people a day. Wall Street, the stock exchange, a sensitive electric grid, the headquarters of many major corporations, a target-rich environment that, given the rising tensions in Eastern Europe, could prove hard to resist for Russian cyber hackers intent on payback. The threat of cyber attacks is very real, uh, particularly now. That is the warning we're receiving out of Washington, particularly for a place like New York. If we don't get a handle on cybersecurity, of uh, what COVID did to our bodies, cybersecurity is going to disrupt the anatomy of our city and our state. Shortly after President Biden announced heavy sanctions against Russia, Governor Hochul, Mayor Adams, and mayors from across the state announced the opening of a joint security operations center in Brooklyn to combat cyber threats. Governor Hochul said she's been in constant contact with Washington to discuss the real concern that Russian hackers will try to disrupt things here. Sometimes for every action, there's a reaction. Shame on us if we're not anticipating and watching what's happening across the globe. The governor making the comparison to the terror attacks on 9-11, equating the efforts we made to ward off physical terror attacks to the need to protect our businesses and critical infrastructure now. We're on notice of what they could do to dismantle our systems, our communication systems, our uh, 911 systems, our, you know, our transportation network. I mean, they all run on technology. And you disrupt that technology, that connectivity, uh, there is an opportunity for you know, rather, rather cataclysmic consequences. The Joint Command Center will have 117 deaths for state, local, and federal officials to assess and monitor potential threats in real time. They will also be able to streamline threat intelligence and responses in the event of a significant cyber attack. Officials say hackers make hundreds and hundreds of attempts to get into our systems every day. Last year, the city law department was breached. A hacking group believed to have links to the Chinese government penetrated the MTA last April. Another danger, China and Russia may actually work together. Uh, they seem to have a very cozy relationship at the moment. Cybersecurity expert Anne-Marie McAvoy says officials should also be on the lookout for attacks on soft targets. Potentially the hospitals. They probably aren't quite as uh, um, strong in their defenses as some other places like the New York Stock Exchange. The state is looking to hire 70 technology experts to help man the center. In the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.